Destiny 2's newest raid is Emperor Callus' domain of the Leviathan. What regal wonders await you inside? Oh, it's just some fat cabal taking baths? It's kind of gross. The baths are the first main encounter in the Leviathan, but before you can get in, you need to open the doors to get inside. In order to open the doors, you need to obtain three battle standard flags and place them on the base plate by the door. There are four total doors, each marked with a symbol, the chalice, the sun, the beast, and the axes. The baths are the chalice icon, so you'll need the standards from the other three. The icon that pops up will tell you where the next standard will be located. Team composition here does not matter too much, but those with roaming supers will find themselves having a very good time. Night Stalker tethers are also pretty good here. Weapon selection also does not matter significantly for this encounter, with the defense team preferring shotguns over snipers, but whatever your strongest weapons are will work just fine, every weapon has a good use. For the strike team, which I'll explain in a second, my teammate really liked using a linear fusion rifle, but a sniper rifle also works pretty well. Split your team into two groups, the strike team and the defense team. The defense team should stay back and defend against the waves and waves and waves of cabal that will come at you. If the cabal enemy, the standard liberator, touches the base plate with a standard in it, they will take it and you'll need to go fight for another one. Look out for shielded scions during the encounter as well. You'll see a prompt, a counselor has appeared. These scions can give the cabal that steal the standards an immunity shield. The scions aren't hard to kill, you just need to run up and punch them in their shield, but you do need to find them quickly. Otherwise, it is a lot of killing cabal, so be sure to chain supers together as often as possible. The strike team is the team searching for the battle standards. Whatever icon is being shown on the main base plate is where you need to go. Here's a crudely drawn map of where each location is. When you get to the correct doorway, you'll see a bunch of cabal around it, just kill them. Shortly after, a standard bearer will spawn with an immune shield if you haven't killed all of the cabal in the area. Once the shield is down, you just need to kill the standard bearer. Supers are good here, just watch out for its AoE knockback if you're melee based. Ideally, you'll form a straight line with you and your teammate so that you can both snipe the crit spots on the standard bearer at the same time. This is why my teammate liked linear fusion rifles. I just didn't think to equip a sniper in these clips because... dumb reasons. Anyway, once the bearer is killed, a standard will spawn on the plate out of the door he walked out of. Simply grab it and run it back to the door you're trying to open. There will be a force of will buff that lasts for a short time that increases your damage when standing on the plate after a standard goes down, but if you don't want to be locked down to that location, you don't have to be. You'll repeat this process three times and will be able to walk in. If a standard is stolen, you'll need to go back and fight a new bearer, so make sure they don't get stolen in the first place. Once all three standards are in place, you'll open the door and can move on to the next encounter. The Baths encounter will seem reminiscent of the Totems encounter from King's Fall if you're familiar. There are four baths with plates on them, along with a plate in the center. In the middle are a bunch of canisters with purple liquid in them. You'll need to shoot all of these canisters down in order to beat the encounter, so let's talk about how to do that. First, team composition. Warlocks with healing and empowering rifts for the middle damage phase are awesome, specifically Arc Soul Stormcaller Warlocks, and also specifically with the Luna Faction Boots Exotic if you have them. Arc Soul is great for bonus damage, and the Luna Boots enables some free reloading. Otherwise, those with roaming supers will do well here. As far as weaponry goes, a shotgun worked wonders here for my team to kill a specific annoying target that we'll talk about, and otherwise your favorite kinetic and energy weapon will do just fine here. No specific elements are needed on any of your weapons. In order to get the canisters vulnerable, you'll need to bring the chain of all the baths down all the way by standing on your plate for a couple of minutes. You'll see a white bar that holds the chain together. This is your progress indicator. When you first start the encounter, by having four people stand on the outer plates and then one in the middle all at the same time, you'll be granted the Psionic Protection Immunity buff 
which has 50 stacks and drops at a rate of about one per second. This buff protects you from the bath's harmful effects of killing you, to put it simply, but it does not protect against anything else as far as we know. Eventually, it will run out and you'll need to refresh it from the middle, but leaving your plate means losing progress on your chain going down and leaving too often means you'll never get the chain to the bottom where it needs to go. You'll also need to deal with angry, naked, high health cabal from time to time and these guys hurt. They'll spawn from where the chain is and are melee based. Here's the strategy. Split your team into two groups of three and assign each team a side. My team ended up doing top and bottom sides, some people were doing left and right sides, do whichever your team ends up feeling comfortable with. My team did top and bottom, so I'll be using those terms for this guide. You'll have four people stand on their plates at the same time and then one in the middle to start the encounter that'll all be in the corners. In the middle is the same psionic buff that respawns every about 5 to 10 seconds. You're going to start with two people rotating in, one per side, and all three of you will be rotating back and forth during the encounter to make sure that the plates stay down. For example, I am on the left side plate, my teammate is on the right side plate. When my buff gets low, the roamer will grab their own buff from the middle, come to me, and then take over my plate. I then run to the middle, refresh my buff, and then go to the right side to help my teammate who is likely running out of stacks. So now, I'm on the right. The right side player then goes to the middle to refresh, and then goes to the left and switches with that player. Left refreshes, comes to right, I refresh, I go to the left, and you just chain the sequence together for a couple of minutes until all of the chains are completed and locked. The other side does this as well, and if done correctly, this phase will take no time at all, or about two minutes or so. In terms of enemies that you need to kill, every so often you'll get a wave of two scions and one generic cabal dude. They're not very hard to kill at all. Periodically, you will get a bather to spawn, and this is where that shotgun will come in handy, but if you need extra help, then call for it. Here's a rotation in action. Jump on uh, plates in three, two, one. Land. Day, Choice Bill, thank you very much for shoving. The, uh, the... Yeah, let me know how much is it. If it's massive, I'll switch. Sorry. It actually takes yeah. it down to about uh, half of a second. It, so. Emperor C. Yeah, you can thank you very much. Jump on this. Also it's for shoving. Get off. I'm using Hawthorns then. Yeah, it's it's not an instant kill. Alright, Fitzy coming to you. Yeah, my guy's already dead. Okay. Uh, uh, rotate out. Yeah, I'm done. We'll be there shortly. Hey. Take your time, nothing going on over here. Hey, oh god. Three main encounters. I'm uh, just gonna take four. a while because I have 17,000 ion grenades on me. But... Same. I get off. Yep, there you go. Use tether. I just Fitzy, literally, you. I literally wanted to combo the guy and shot my hawthorns three times. Uh, yeah, I found That's a not, That doesn't sound I like a cheat. Yeah. You know, you can totally cheese the raid by just shooting the enemies with your guns. That's if you do great, a lot of man. DPS all at once. Well, um, I don't think, like, it's a wombo combo. I expect. Um, Alright, Shaker, go ahead, look. Alright, we should be soon, right? Yeah, we should yeah, be really almost, soon. I'm locked. Locked. Okay, there it goes. After the chains are locked, you'll get a sound cue to go to the middle of the room. That center plate is your buff plate with the force of will buff, allowing you to damage the canisters. Place down your walls, throw down your rifts, and do as much damage as possible. Try to focus fire as a team and call out your shots. Roaming supers should rotate one after another because bathers will spawn during the encounter frequently and they hurt really bad. Otherwise, try to have one person be a lookout for any enemies coming in. Remember to watch your psionic protection stacks too. If they run out, you're going to take some extra damage. After the buff is gone, you'll need to punch a scion in a shield that spawns on the center plate. You may also get another scion in a bubble that you need to shoot at in order to continue. So just make sure that the middle room is completely clear before spreading back out to your plates. There is no rush. The main wipe mechanic that my team was able to find was taking too long to get the chains down. If you end up taking too long, then the game will just wipe you, so you do need to move a little bit quickly. However, there is plenty of leeway time, at least on normal mode. 
Repeat this process until all of the canisters are destroyed and you can move on to the next encounter, the Beast Garden. All in all, once you have the rotation down, which will not take long, this encounter is pretty quick and simple. The only thing that might mess with you are the big naked cabal dudes chopping you up, but as long as you have some power ammo, you'll be good to go. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the gardens.